Greetings, peace, love, light, and farming. This is Angelita Muhammad. I completed the, I was about to say driver training. Like, <laughs> ooh, you know why? Because this is driving me crazy. This is like take 25, y'all. I'm not, <laughs> this is the last one. So we're in for a bumpy ride because I'm not doing this anymore. Okay, so 2017, <laughs> let me calm down. Obviously, I'm not a podcaster or a farmer content creator. I don't know how to edit, so I don't know what's going to end up on this video, but I hope I don't offend anyone. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, so, yeah, back in 2017, that was seven years ago. That was an awesome time, one of the best times of my life. Um, definitely because I got to gain a new skill set. I literally got to see what I personally was made of if I could do this. And so that's the most invaluable thing I walked away with, I think, um, because it's one thing to, you know, have the know-how and that's super important, but um, having confidence in oneself, pardon me, y'all didn't see that, did you? Having confidence in oneself and uh, first, you know, hats off, to Rishi because they're awesome teachers, literally the best. Well, I haven't tried the rest, but they're the best. <laughs> so anyway, no, they are good because they are patient. And that's so important when you're teaching and guiding that you have patience because there's a lot of repetition, you know, a lot of people messing up and, um, you know, they were always patient with me and everyone else. And so you definitely want to um, consider studying with them. So what I was trying to say <laughs> is that I walked away with confidence. Stick to the script. Confidence. So that I could get off the couch and actually do it myself having my hands in the dirt, having the, you know, constant repetition, going to the farm three days a week, five hours a day for seven months will definitely build confidence. If nothing else, maybe it'll scare you away because actually we did not finish the program with as many as started the program. So you do get to see what you're made of. And if this aspect is for you, you will definitely know. I knew it day one when um, the first cohort that I actually applied for, I think it was raining and damn near freezing cold. And I was having a ball. I had a rain suit on as did everyone else with boots. I was, you know, properly dressed and ready to go. And we interviewed by planting. I can't remember what we planted, but we were, we were working in the rain. It wasn't pouring down, obviously, because we couldn't do that. But it was like, you know, enough to get you soaking wet by the end of the day. And it was Pomona cold. So <laughs> and I had a ball. I, I wasn't deterred. I didn't, you know, quit after the first day or not want to pursue this anymore. I've also farmed in extreme heat, Pomona heat. And I love it. So I know that I'm capable. I know that, you know, this is something that I enjoy. Um, so confidence, knowledge, observing, observation, I should say, um, you know, watching them show you how to plant seeds or um, transplant, um, compost, um, you know, raise chicken, um, you know, being responsible for your section of the field, um, getting things ready for the CSA, um, repairing things. I think we had high winds and it blew down a couple of the uh, trellises. And so, you know, learning to repair things, learning to trap gophers, um, like, who knew? Oh, and the one like epiphany point I had was when I was 
farming long green beans, whatever it was, I had to hand pick aphids off of the trellises and the, the trellised green beans, rather. And these rows are like, I think, what are they, 25 feet or longer? Oh, at least 25 feet long. And man, I understand why organic food is so high after this because I'm literally hand picking like bugs and like going down the green bean stems, just like sliding them down. My hands were like black and red because who knew aphids had blood. But anyway, <sighs> you're gonna pay for this. So listen, <laughs> I am an urban farmer. I actually grow microgreens now. I was not an urban farmer before the program. And I'd say it was 2018 when I started my business as a microgreen grower. And I'm now in four farmer's markets. I've been in as many as six. And for sure, again, I rely and draw on that confidence because there have been many times when, <clears throat> excuse me, I was faced with what I perceived as defeat and, you know, that confidence to just get up and get out and get some. Don't let the days of your life pass by. You need to. Okay. So I am six years strong now with my microgreens business. And I'm finally starting to, you know, kind of feel like I know what I'm doing, even though, you know, with agriculture, you're always learning. There's always something. There's always, you know, a new pest or a new problem. I grow outdoors. Not a lot of people do microgreens outdoors because they're too, um, you know, it's not a lot of margin for error with microgreens um, because it's such a quick crop, literally like 10 days. So if you mess up, you know, you mess up, but it's, that's bitter and sweet actually. Um, but at any rate, um, I should stay on track, right? Yes, I'm employed in agriculture and I love it. And I have a message for anybody on the fence. Don't be on the fence. Doing something is better than doing nothing. Even if you come to realize this is not for you. The only way you're going to find out is if you get up and, you know, find out. So join the program. Because um, I said so. <laughs> anyway huh. is that everything i sure hope so i'm looking forward to seeing everybody at the 10 year anniversary i'm super um excited about you know the opportunity to reconnect with everybody and see what everybody's been up to um i feel like i should be giving somebody a shout out so Manju, Rishi, Arthi, Katie, Lynn, Reshma, Darren, Lorette, Chica. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but honestly, guys, find out what you're made of. Come to Sarvadeya training program. 